A department within East Tennessee State University's nationally recognized Quillen College of Medicine is on probation after accreditors uncover concerns about the education some doctors are receiving there. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. I'm Josh Smith. The Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education alerted ETSU's Department of Obstetrics Gynecology. It happened just last week about its continued probationary status. And Nate Morbido found out the programs remained on probation since last August. We're talking about future medical specialists. The concerns are not related to patient safety, but instead focus on the fact that recent medical school graduates training under the supervision of ETSU faculty should be receiving better training. Since first placed on probation last year, the OBGYN department has made some improvements, but not enough to get rid of its probationary status. They're in training to one day be able to deliver babies, care for expectant mothers, and provide health care to all women, all on their own. But ETSU's OBGYN residents are not getting the absolute best education. We have some areas for improvement that have been identified. The Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education first raised concerns in 2015, citing more than a dozen issues within the department including the lack of hands-on experience when it comes to actual deliveries, insufficient instruction and supervision, and fear of retaliation when it comes to evaluating faculty. I think one of the challenges that we had in that program is that um, it's, it's a small department, so small faculty numbers, it's a very busy type specialty. Associate Dean for Graduate Medical Education, Dr. David Linville, says in response, the department's added three new faculty members to address the staffing concerns and to secure more delivery experience for the residents. He says ETSU's also changed the curriculum and is looking at ways to improve communication. We've made some significant improvements in the program. A letter from ACGME shows despite the department's efforts to address the problems, OBGYN remains under increased scrutiny for many of the same issues. Accreditors also raised a new issue. In recent years, not enough of the program's graduates have passed the written certification portion of their board exams on the first try. Even with the ongoing concerns, Dr. Linville is confident ETSU will resolve the probationary status within the next eight months or so. It's a very high standard that we hold ourselves accountable to. Uh, and when we're not meeting the standards as well as we'd like, it, it is a way that we're able to address those standards, make corrections to the program, and ensure that we have the best graduates that we can possibly have. The department is still accredited, which means once those doctors finish their residency at ETSU, they can still graduate as board-certified specialists. Dr. Linville told me he's confident the department is not at risk of losing its accreditation. ETSU OBGYN was last on probation in 2004, according to ACGME records. ETSU says no residents have left the program and the department's not had any trouble recruiting new residents because of that probationary status. Well, Nate also found out three other ETSU residency programs are on what's called continued accreditation with warning. Those departments are family medicine, internal medicine, and pulmonary disease and critical care. Letters sent to all three departments this year revealed their accreditation statuses will be in jeopardy if they do not appropriately address concerns and or if other issues resulting in citations develop.